for me, with PDP, I was getting to the point that uh, I was feeling disillusioned. Not because of an election, because in 2009, 2023, I didn't actually con contest for anything. I, when I finished in 2019, I realized that I needed to learn a lot more about the Constitution. If I'm going to change, if I'm going to be an instrument of change, I needed to learn a lot more. So I went back to go and um, update the law, do the law bit that would make me be an effective legislator, an effective uh, a, a very efficient government uh, um, person in, in, in society. So that's what I went to do. So I wasn't planning on contesting from <laughs> for anything because I knew what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. So in, in, in I just what I realized is that um, PDP was not fulfilling its constitution. It was not the party constitution was not aligning, it was not implementing it. So then it was just a piece of paper, as far as I'm concerned. That, that's the way that I saw what was happening. It was just a drastic change. And was a, we keep complaining about it. You have in your constitution that 35% um, position are for women. That means that, that those positions, nobody else but women must contest for it. Even if you have only one woman country, that position belongs to her. It's called, it's, a, it's, it's 35 proportional representation. It's the law that was passed by United Nations to help women in Africa be part of society, represented at all levels. And you decided to bring that law domestically to Nigeria. Nigeria was a signatory to that law. You come into, you bring it to Nigeria, you implement it dom domestically. And you, we implemented it in PDP constitution. And then you, what you're now finding is that they're setting us committee, they might have 10 committee members, one woman or two women. That is not 35%. We start, it started like that, and we started screaming, we started screaming. They do local government election, Southwest election, no women, one woman. No. Then the, what the straw that broke the camel back for me was when they did the national election for NWC, the people that will manage the party. And there was, out of almost 20, 22 people, there was just one woman. And it was not like woman didn't come out. And I was like, one? What happened? And, and the funny thing is that they were even going to take the woman leader position. <laughs> if it wasn't a woman leader position, they would have taken it from us. And for me, it was just too much. It was too much. And, and that was it for me. I, I couldn't. I complained, I protested, we carried protests to national, but nothing was done. It's just that one woman in that committee. So when um, my principal, um, Javi, um, moved to Labour Party, and because we worked together in PDP, it was Lagos West senatorial candidate when I was Lagos East in 2019. So our agenda, our focus, our program is closely matched. And uh, we, were, we worked very closely together because he was West, I was East, and we were running the same program. So it was an easy fit for me. I knew where we wanted to go. I knew what he wanted to achieve. And he did not have to ask me twice. When he asked me, I knew that this is a person that I, I lined up with. We, we have the same vision. We, we can achieve together. And that's how I, I, I moved to the Labour Party.